Hey everybody, so I'm here today to talk to you about a web-based tool uh, called Superbetter. It's uh, available at www.superbetter.com and it's a free web-based tool and uh, there's also a paid iPhone version. And the, the main purpose of this tool is to gamify uh, the goals for learners and to help them to build some resilience and achieve their own positive outcomes. It's useful in a lot of different curriculum areas, but um, specifically I feel like it could be used in the guidance and career education area as well as have some specific applications in the health and physical education area. It's a web-based tool that would be useful at a lot of different age and grade levels, but uh, in the terms and conditions it does have a minimum age of 13, and uh, so it would primarily be focused and uh, used at the high school or post-secondary level. It's a tool that's created by game designers and backed by a lot of science. And again, the, the main focus is to build personal resilience. You build this personal resilience by boosting physical and emotional well-being and uh, working towards achieving a lot of your life goals and for students specifically achieving some specific goals within their educational goals as well. So what I'm hoping to do is to take you through super better and uh, show you how you might be able to use it. So we're just here at superbetter.com. We're going to click on see how it works. It's going to give us a bit of a, an illustration of how Superbetter is structured. So how Superbetter works is that you take on a superhero persona and uh, through their platform you, you take on quests that work towards your, your ultimate goal to be able to have your epic win, which is to face and overcome your, your main challenge. You do this by facing specific quests that you, that you create um, and also uh, that you can add and customize. And as you face those quests, uh, you gain points and you gain strength in four different categories. Your physical strength, mental strength, emotional strength, and your social strength. And this will help to develop your resilience in these areas as well. So as the Super Better app helps you to track your progress, uh, give you some suggestions and provide you with some feedback as you're progressing along your quests uh, towards your challenge and your epic win. Um, it does it in a way that is fun and game-like to, to help you to stay motivated along this journey and eventually to conquer your, your big challenge and achieve your epic win. So in order to get started, the first thing I'm going to need to do is create a user account here on the Super Better app. I'm going to click I want to play and it's going to take me to a sign up screen here where I have the option to sign up with my Facebook credentials. I'm going to opt to create a separate account and I'm going to enter in my email address and this sign up is uh, fairly similar to a lot of other web based signups here. I'm going to create a username here. temporary password I'm going to click that I am over 13 and uh, that I've read the terms and conditions and do agree with them click on continue and here I've created an account I, I'm greeted by this video here by Jane McGonigal who is one of the authors and creators of super better uh, she also has a large, a huge series of TED Talks about gamification, and uh, you can definitely press play and check out the video. I'm just going to skip that for now. So here, you, you're going to start to get a sense of how Super Better um, works, and they're going to give you just an example here. Uh, it's asking you to either stand up and take three steps, or make a hand into a fist and raise them over your head as high as you can for five seconds. So I'm going to do that now. Since I've done it, I'm going to click I did it. And you'll see that I've gained five points of physical resilience here just by doing that. A lot of the science research uh, that Jane uh, and her team has pulled together, uh, she does reference here in a lot of her videos. Just for the sake of time, I am going to skip ahead here, click on continue, and it's going to take me through another one here an option to either snap my fingers exactly 50 times or to count backwards from 100 by 7. 
So I'm going to do that second one. And since I'm done, I'm going to click I did it. And again, it talks about mental resilience here. And again, I've gained five points in that mental resilience category. And you're given these examples of these small ways to develop resilience in all four categories. This one is for emotional emotional resilience and you see that I've gained five points there and this one here is for social resilience and you'll see that I've also gained five points there. And this is where I start to get to customize my profile here. For the sake of this example I'm going to select anxiety and I'm going to click submit You have an option to fully design your own or to choose a power pack. I am going to choose a power pack. And I'm gonna choose better than a chill pill. And I could choose any of these and they would just uh, populate a lot of the customizable fields initially. I can still go in and customize them further if I wish. But I'm just gonna select that one, have a chance to read about it, and then I'm gonna get the power pack. So here now I'm on the super better dashboard and it's going to give me a lot of my information in a snapshot and I'm going to be able to track uh, my progress through here and see how I'm doing uh, in the various categories and I will take you through steps to customize your uh, specific options within the super better platform here. So I'm going to start customizing my super better profile here and I'm going to click on my username right up top here. And uh, if we could, I think the, the easiest way to sort of understand how Super Better comes together and how, how you can make use of it is to use just sort of a general example. I'll take you through uh, just a, a sample here. Um, and I guess uh, the, the example I'm going to use here is if I was a student maybe getting ready for an English presentation um, and because it's going to be a, a presentation in front of the class, that's going to cause me quite a bit of anxiety as I'm ramping up to it and trying to get through this. So as I click on secret identity here, I'm going to create my superhero identity here. Click edit and I'm going to name myself the presentation killer because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill this presentation and uh, just for fun I'm going to choose a photo here and uh, click on open and then I'll click save. Okay, and there I am, just uh, looking pretty intense there. And then I'm going to click on challenge just because I wanted to move down to see that everything is where I, uh, what I think it should be. And uh, the challenge here is that I'm getting better, I'm getting super better from anxiety, and that's what I selected earlier. I'm going to click on my epic win here, and I'm going to edit that because it's not specified yet. And my epic win here is that I'm going to present. Um, to my English class and click save there. Now as I see or as I click on achievement here see that there isn't anything here yet that's because we're just getting started and uh, the account uh, settings here you can just look them over there's some opportunities to receive some uh, emails from the website and also some push notifications. I'm just going to leave those as is and then click back to my dashboard. And you'll see that in the activities here in the center, it's already starting to uh, update uh, based on some of the things that I did here. Okay, now from the dashboard here, you'll see that there's a few other things that have also been updated and stay front and center for me here. It says that um, I've updated my superhero identity here as the presentation killer. Um, and uh, just remind me that I'm getting better, I'm getting super better from anxiety uh, so I can present to my English class. That's that's where I'm, what I'm focused on. And a lot of the sections and areas that I'll be clicking into pretty regularly as I go through these different quests uh, on my journey towards my epic win, uh, they're over to the left here. Okay, just uh, so I'm going to click into quest here and I'm going to start creating some quests and we can sort of see how uh, we can use this to progress us towards our epic win. 
So as we click into the quest section, you'll see that it's already pre-populated with uh, a few different quests here. These are orientation kind of intro quests to help you sort of understand how it works. But we're actually going to go ahead and just create a few of our own quests that are going to be specific towards uh, getting me ready for my presentation here. Uh, the first quest here that I'm going to I'm going to name here is I'm just going to say that I'm going to I'm going to need to write out my uh, speaking points speaking points uh, for presentation and if I can get those down I'll, I'll, I'll definitely feel a lot more comfortable so as, again I can uh, choose an image here and click on this image that I have points just to help me uh, remind myself of what I'm doing right here on the bottom it asks uh, what kind of strength does this, does this build up most for me and I think that getting these points ready is really about getting me uh, mentally ready and resilient so I'm gonna click mental and then click save I'm gonna come back up top here and click add because I want to add another task this next quest that I'm gonna have here is that I'm gonna practice my presentation in front of my friend Steve. So again, I could write I could write a short description in here. I'm just going to skip that just to speed this up a little bit. But I'm going to again select a picture of Steve that I have as him as a, a child. Or maybe I'm going to select this one that's you know him being a little bit goofier, just so I don't take it too. Uh, seriously and uh, I really think that this is going to strengthen my uh, my emotional resilience here and then I'm going to click save and as you can see you can definitely add a lot more quests here as you would go through you can do it right at the beginning you can add them uh, as you're going throughout but right now I'm actually just going to leave it uh, just as it is now and move on to the next section allies now just before we dive into the allies section I just want to make a few points uh, as a bit of an overview as I'm going through this journey towards my epic win, the quest section and the bad guys section is really where I'm keeping track of things. What are the what are the quests that I'm overcoming step by step towards my final epic win and my challenge there? And then what are the bad guys or the foes that I'm going to come across uh, that are going to try to trip me up along along the way, uh, whether they're events or or actual people? And and uh, the ally section power ups future boosts are really here to uh, help and support me and uh, as I get some support from allies as I do some things that uh, provide me with uh, some some power-ups and uh, work on my resilience and as I have some future boosts and things that I look to forward towards so diving into the allies section here I just want to point out a few things that are that exist in all of the sections here there are some descriptions and uh, if I do get stuck it does have some brainstorming questions here to help me think of some allies so the ally section is really about um, who are the people that uh, that I want to connect with that are going to give me a bit of a boost so it describes it here as the best allies are people who make me smile and who inspire me right so who are some of those people that uh, who are some of those people for me <clears throat> well definitely my good friend Steve is going to be one of them so I want to connect with him I can definitely uh, leverage some social media here and connect via Facebook but I'm actually just gonna uh, do it the old-fashioned way and send him an email so I'm just gonna type in his email here so Steve dot sing at gmail.com and I'm gonna send him a message and then I would click send and off I go okay so then my invitation has been sent to him I can do that with multiple allies and uh, lots of different people here so and people that uh, maybe can support me along the way that I can have some dialogue with that will help me through this process I'm gonna leave it there and I'm going to move on to the next section which is power-ups so now we're taking a look at the power-ups section and power-ups are really about building resilience uh, you'll see that uh, there's lots of standard ones here that some of them are just standard with super better but then also with the power pack that we loaded in there's lots of different standard ones here and this is just things that we can do to build up resilience in those four categories that we talked about before right physical mental emotional and social resilience let's just take a quick look at uh, this one here take a dose of mindfulness I'm just gonna click on view and just to get a sense of what these power-ups are like 
So for this one, um, it says that uh, the, the next time that I'm anxious to take a few deep breaths and close my eyes and uh, notice the sensations in my body without trying to stop any of them. And this is just to uh, encourage me to take a moment of um, mindfulness and a moment of pause in my life. And if I do this, I'll build some mental resilience. When I do this, come back to this app and I have a chance to click on did it and it will increase my mental resilience. I'm, I'm just going to add a power up here because maybe there are uh, specific things that I can do to uh, really help myself, give myself a boost in terms of um, building up my, my either my mental, emotional, uh, social or physical resilience here, right? The one that I'm going to add here is really about uh, an opportunity for myself to listen to some music. It's definitely going to give me a pick-me-up if I have a chance to listen to some of my favorite songs and uh, it's going to give me an emotional boost and some emotional resilience. So I really want to uh, put that down as a power up for myself. So I just enter a short description in there. And then I click on emotional because that's the, uh, the type of strength that it'll give me. And I click on save. And you can see that it's added it to the bottom of the list there. And I can use that. I can use this power up anytime I feel that I need to pick me up and a boost of resilience emotionally. And now on to the next section, bad guys. So in the bad guys section, you'll see that there it comes pre-populated with a lot of different uh, foes that we will meet along the way. And um, what we can do here is we can definitely create our own, but I just want to take a look at uh, an example here. So we'll take a look at the anxiety vampire. And uh, that's a, uh, a bad guy that we're going to face here. So we're going to click on view. And when we do, we read a little bit about this, uh, the anxiety vampire and what are, what are some of the, the, uh, the weapons that they have and, and the description of how, how they can be destructive to us. And in this case, um, we're going to want to fight this, uh, this anxiety vampire with emotional strength. And if I had an opportunity to battle this anxiety vampire throughout my day, I would come in here, I'd say that I, I battled this, and then I would uh, take a look at what was my result. Uh, did I win this battle? Did I fail? Uh, do I, did I vanquish this, uh, this foe and so I don't have to face them anymore? And how difficult was it? So finally, as I'm working through my quests and using my power-ups and boosts along the way to really help myself uh, get through these challenges, I'll come back. Uh, to this app maybe daily and just see how I've done in terms of my quests. What are some of the quests that I can do if I'm feeling particularly low? Uh, maybe I can reach out to one of my allies, let them know how I'm doing, hopefully receive some encouragement from them, or maybe I can try a power up uh, to build up some of that resilience. I can keep track of some of the battles that I've had with the bad guys. How have I done? And look forward to these future boosts. And as I go through these quests and as I finally reach um, my my epic win I can come over here have I done my presentation with my English class I've taken the time to get ready for it I've done it uh, and, and I've been able to meet this challenge and it went well so I click on that I did this and it says epic win complete take a moment to really celebrate this triumph and everything it took to get here so if I want to I can give a little bit of feedback here um, about this uh, experience with my epic win and whether or not I want to start a new epic win or that I'm all better. And I'm going to click that I'm super better. So now with my epic win, super better congratulates me and gives me this opportunity to then reach out again to my allies and let them know that I'm doing super better and thank them for all of their support. So you can see that super better is a platform that allows for uh, lots of opportunity to have a lot of fun in this whole process as I'm working towards this challenge of the epic win it provides me with different things that I can do to build my resilience as I work towards it and uh, track how I'm doing uh, and keep track of my scores along the way I do know that there's a lot here that we've had to cover and uh, there are lots of different bits and pieces this becomes an app and a tool that makes a lot more sense as you go through it and you have a chance to really work with it and hopefully you'll take some time to, to take a look at it and see if it's something that you can use either for yourself or for some of your students in your classroom. I'll be following this up with another video that'll take a look at some specific examples in terms of how you might integrate this into your education.